What's up guys, Derek Bad Gaming here, the channel for Casual Raiders. We are going over a artifact guide today. Uh, the title of the video kind of says it all, is what not to waste leveling up your artifacts. So like kind of what gear are we looking for to not get up to 16? Like which ones are we gonna level up? How to kind of be more efficient with your, with your silver and kind of like when to level up your gear and when not to level up your gear. So I just made two videos. Uh, sorry if I'm wearing the same stuff because I'm making a crap ton of videos tonight. So drinking the beer is making the videos. This is Troganator, it's like 8%. But uh, we're gonna go over why we're not gonna get up to 16 and what, what stats are we looking for and what are we not looking for. So I'm gonna start off this video by going over what to sell right away. Anytime you get a gear that you're like, all right, this has this stat, selling it, no matter what. Let's get into it. So the filter button is great getting into this game. For the first year, all the other guys on YouTube will, will contest to this where it sucked. <laughs> like you, could, you couldn't search for anything in this game if this wasn't available. You literally had to go through every single thing and look at the stats and see which one you're going to use and which one you're going to sell. Like It was the most brutal mechanic of the game it sucked i it's giving me a headache just even freaking thinking about it but we got this now so this definitely helped it came out a couple months ago right before covid so we had all covid to kind of play around with it and, and go from there so it makes it so much easier filtering and getting rid of and selling and, and kind of getting through that stuff now look i have 670 gear pieces out of my 700 max so i can only have 30 extra gear pieces after i, I mean i have to sell all the crap, which is right here. Where's curing? Curing. So I have to sell this. So once I sell probably 50 of these, I'll be at 620. So I can only have 80 slots to kind of like keep before it's still, so it's going to my, my uh, mail. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go through these three. One, two, and three. Click those three. All right, so go in your, your game, click these three, and then go to equipped as well. And I'll just give you an example and then click on HP, attack, and defense. Okay. These pieces sell as soon as possible. All right. So example, this has a defense. I don't want strict, straight damage on that. Defense on that. Defense on that. H. 1800 HP on that for no reason. I only keep these guys because I don't want to spend silver to get it off these guys. I'm not using these guys anytime soon. Uh, so it's not bothering me. Same with this guy. I don't know why it's on him. This thing, 35 defense. Stupid. Uh, and then these, again, I'm not taking it off because I'm not going to waste silver on that. So I'm going to sell all the stuff that's not equipped that I can sell. So I'm going to sell these four pieces. That just cleared up four more spots. And now I don't have to worry about filtering all through all my stuff and seeing those because you're never going to use those stats. If I have HP, let's say 600 HP on my um, my uh, gloves, and I do a percentage instead, if I do an extra 33% compared to 21%, so I can do, where's my calculator? 33% of 21,000, 21,000 times 0.33. That's giving me an extra 6,000, almost 7,000 extra health compared to maybe the, the 2,000 that you're gonna get from uh, the straight health stat. So that's why you're gonna sell all the straight stats because it's nowhere near the percentage that you're actually looking for. I'd rather have 33% than an extra 3,000 HP. I got an extra 4,000 just based off the percentage. So that's the example of why we're gonna sell those as soon as possible. The next thing we're gonna do is when we're leveling up um, our characters, we're gonna try and keep as many speed uh, stats as possible. So when I go through all my gear, I'm gonna keep, get rid of equipped. I'm gonna go to substats and I'm gonna click on speed. Okay, now this is gonna be easier to get rid of uh, artifact sets that we're not going to use that much like maybe resist maybe f definitely fury days cursed for frost frenzy i made a video of like what these actually mean and which ones we're looking for 
heels, all this. We're going to get rid of all the crappy sets, but we're only going to keep the ones that have speed on it. And why that is, is because let's say you have a guy that you have a couple stats, like a couple cruel sets on them, like they're only two to equip, like 15 attack and ignore five for two. So let's, so let's say I got two of them on a character and the other one's a broken set. I might do the best crit or speed stat that I can find and keep that just in case my one guy that I'm making needs more speed. Boom, I had that one thing that has speed on it. Let's say like this right i kept this because i got two rolls potentially three rolls because i didn't want to waste my silver on it to get up to another speed set speed stat for that so that's kind of why i'm going to filter through all these and i only and here's another uh tip don't level these up until there's an artifact enhancement event do we have one going on right now i don't think so i think it just ended so you click on your events or you see what's coming up this is a Turkey Day event, not artifact. This one is not an artifact. Do I have a tournament with artifact? Probably not. I know there's a fusion coming up and they usually have artifacts. But this one is probably not an artifact enhancement. No, okay. So I'm not gonna level up almost any of my gear because of that. I'm not gonna waste my silver and waste my time and waste my potential to get better gear or other stuff for the game if I don't have to, okay? So when there is an event, all this gear that you don't have leveled up yet, like all this stuff that's like not anything, like, see, that's kind of what I do is I level up to eight and 12 and stuff. Like this one, these three right here. Uh, what else do we got? I can, I can just filter all the speed, that's usually what I do. So I do filter, speed, and all the stuff that's not like these four, I'm going to level this blue up to 8, and then I'm going to sell it. This one, I'm going to level up to 8. If I get any speed, I'm going to go up to 12. This one, level up to, to 8, get up to, to 12 if I get a speed. This, same thing. So any purples, I'm getting 8 first, because it's not that much silver to get up to 8, and then 12 if I get any speed stats. And then if not, I'm selling it. And the reason you're doing that is because you're getting points every time you level up 4, 8, 12, and then 16 if you have really good gear, all right? So that's kind of what you're doing to save silver is you're only leveling up to 4, sometimes on a blue. And, like, look at this. This, I will level up to 4. I got a speed. Then I leveled up to 8. I got another speed. So then I leveled up to 12 because it's not that much silver, and then I just kept it there. I'm like, all right, if I need 17 speed on a guy, boom, I got, I got, I got an artifact for that. And then let's say it's a really good guy that I'm going to use for endgame. I'm probably not going to level this up to 16 because I don't need to. I don't need to level this up to 16 because I got the stats that I needed for it. All right. The thing you're going to level up to 16. All right. So let's go back to the beginning of the video. What artifacts are we going to level up to 16? Those are going to be the ones for endgame. The stuff that we know are going to be good for endgame. What I mean by that. Let's go to a champion that I'm going to use all the time. Sile, Sile of Drakes, her gear is almost all 16 because I use her all the time. So let's say her chest piece, right? Look at those stats. I got crit damage, accuracy, but look at the main stat, 50% defense. At 12, I think this is 33%. So I get an extra 17% defense by leveling this up to 16, uh, which is my main stat. So if I get a calculator, handy dandy calculator, if I go 1387 defense, that's how much her stat is, 1387 defense, times that by 0.13, no, 0.17, yeah, 0.17, that's an extra 236 defense by getting this chess piece up to 16. That is a ton of defense for her. 236 defense just from one boost of level 12 to level 16. And the only reason I level her is because I use her all the time. So I'm never going to level up to 16 unless I know I'm keeping that gear. I'm not going to, like how many times this actually probably leveled was probably 10, 15 times. Sometimes it's ridiculous RNG, but I got up to 16 because it was worth it. That silver was worth it leveling this piece up to 16. 
this thing, HP, she is a healer. Like she heals constantly. So I wanted HP on my on my gloves. It's a five star. Most of the time I keep six stars now because end game you want six stars, but it's still five star gear that's really good. I got good substats. Um, speed, crit rate, accuracy, she needs accuracy for her sons. But same thing, her HP is 19,000. Let's see how much extra HP we get. So this is how you figure it out. You go her base stat, 19,000, 980. And then going from 12 star to six star, that's an extra 17 times that by 0 0.17. 3,300, almost 4, 4, 400. So 3,400 extra HP from leveling that to 12 to 16 worth it so worth it so that's the only reason i'm going to level up to 16. most of the time in, in my vault you're never going to see a level 16 unless i took it off of somebody the anytime you see these extra stats it's because i took it off of another person and i kept it because it's 16. but sometimes you're going to be able to swap gear out so if you have a, a level 50 that you have some six star on and then you finally get a, a better guy that's level 60 you can just take that gear off of that guy and swap it to another guy example is this dude i took my shield set off of him and I put the 16s on another guy, which I think was him. Yeah, so I put these two on him because they're level 16. So you're going to swap 16 gear a lot. Like, end game, you're just going to be kind of testing out different stuff, swapping it left and right, and like, try not to do it too much because then you're wasting a lot of silver, especially 6 stars, like 100,000 to swap, 200 if, like, you have another set on you. But that's when I'm leveling up to 16. Other stuff you're not going to want to level up. Let's go back to my gear. Let's say I have a filter and I go this and I do HP percentage. Let's look at some of the gear I leveled up to 8 and 12. So this one's level 12. I kept this because of the percentage rolls. I'm trying to keep the percentage stats, get rid of the, the regular stats. So I only kept this because it's an HP, 6 star, but it's got an HP substat, which isn't too bad because I already have the percentage, and it got a crit rate or crit damage percentage there. So that's why I leveled up to eight first. You got two of these. If you got any substats, I'm gonna try and sell it. See here? See, that was a regular stat. So if this wasn't speed, I definitely would sell this because it's a base stat. This is a base stat. If I level this up, let's get this up to four first, right? You wanna be careful, don't waste your, uh, your silver. Boom, selling, done, gone. Because there's no other good substats. It's it's literally just defense and defense. So if I sell this, now I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now if I had an artifact of enhancement event, I would keep that, get it up to eight, and then sell it. Now why do you do that? It's because you get points. You get points for leveling it up every four. So if I know it's a blue, and I'm only gonna see the stats for a blue, I'm only gonna level the blue up to four. Why waste my silver level this up to 12 if I don't know what the stat's going to be? It's just, it's just random. If I have a blue, then I can level up to 12 and know I'm going to get one of these three stats. So if I level this up, um, here's an example. If this isn't a speed, I'm only going to level up one more. And then I'm going to sell. So it's a speed. That's awesome. Good roll. Let's get up to 8. This is another speed. I'm going to level this up to 12. Now this is a contradiction what I said a little earlier because I only want to be wasting my silver on this stuff if there's an artifact enhancement event. But just for you guys, just for the video, we're going to do this. Like I only have 5 million silver, so it's like nothing. <laughs> I want to try and stay around 10 just to kind of be safe. So this is good. HP percentage, defense percentage, speed. This is a good gauntlet for a specific person. Right, so I'm gonna level this up to 12 to show you if I'm gonna sell this or not. And this, and why I picked this one is because it's a gear set that I'm never, ever, 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 ever going to use unless this is a speed again. If this is speed again, potentially defense. If it's defense or speed, I will keep this. If it's a defense up here, I'm gonna sell it. Look at that, 14 speed, which is good. 33% defense for a 12 piece, that's not bad for like a faction wars or something like that. And 10% extra defense on top of that. Perfect. I'm keeping this, um, this gauntlet. This thing, four, why did I keep this? 
because it's got a speed. So if I level this up again, it's not speed, I'm selling it. Now I'm doing this for every single one that I have until I run out of silver. Because <laughs> the artifact of enhancement, you don't really want to do it unless you have at least like 10 million silver, five to 10 million silver is when you, look, look at speed, is when you're gonna want to do the artifact enhancement events. They're harder to do. I'll give you a tip after this on what you should do for an artifact enhancement event. All right, come on, another speed, another speed, another speed, another speed. This is all RNG, by the way. See how much silver you'd be wasting? If this was getting up to 16, you can literally sit here for five minutes and not get it. Look at that, I'm keeping this. 15 speed, 10 defense, 33% HP, that is awesome. So I'm keeping that. If that was anything else besides speed, I'm selling it. This thing, two speed, right there, look at that. This has no speed, but it's a good uh, um, set, so I'd probably level this up to eight potentially 12 for the artifact enhancement. So that's kind of what I'm doing guys, is when I'm going through the artifact enhancement, that's what I'm leveling up. Now, here's the tip, so this is what I'm talking about. If you know an artifact enhancement is coming up, which there is one, and you have guys that you're gonna be using end game, I don't know if I have an example because I probably did it for all my guys already. If you ever see any gear in here, that you're like, all right, I'm gonna level this guy up like 100%, he's gonna be like my main guy, I need this guy as tanky as possible. I'm gonna level up one of my guy's pieces to 15. Now why am I only gonna do it to 15 is because you get points for getting it to level 16. You don't get any points for getting it in between 12 to 16, no points, that's it. You only get points for the every four. So if I level all this guy's gear up to level 15 and I just keep it there, because 15 gear is not bad. Like you're still gonna have a ton more stats than you had it at 12, but if you get it up to 15 and you just pause and you just keep it there until the artifact enhancement event's coming up, look at that, he's 14. So my daily quests, I need a, I need a level four of these, you know, three of these or whatever it is. I'm leveling this guy. I'm leveling this up every four, like I'll, I'll do, I'll go like this. If I have enough uh, silver, I'll level this up to um, to 14 and I'll stop. Or I'll just do the four things and I'll just say cancel. That was my four. All right, I didn't get it today. I'll try back tomorrow, right? Once this gets up to 15, I'm not doing it anymore. I'm keeping it at 15. And why is that? Because again, you're going to get points, a lot of points, for the artifact enhancement event getting up to 15. I love when that event comes around because let's say I have 10, 15 million silver saved up. I'm not going to be spending a lot of silver going from 15 to 16. I mean, you might. You're probably going to spend around a million silver per level up, which is a crap ton. But it's going to be a lot faster than going from 12 to 16. Think about that. Going from 12 to 16, it's so random. It could take so long. But going from 15 to 16 makes you feel a lot better. It's making you prepared, right? So I might level this up to 15. And then I'm stopping until the artifact enhancement. I don't care how much I need that level 16 slot. I don't care. I'm keeping that at 15 until the artifact enhancement. I don't know if I can find anybody that has 15 because I do this all the time. Like I'm telling you that I don't know if it's a secret. I don't know if anybody else, if you can find on YouTube that mentioned that. But that is my secret of what I do for the artifact enhancement events. Yeah, so all my guys are level 16 just because I do the same thing. It's either 12 or 16. Because I'm not wasting silver on this. You might see 13 and 14s, because that means that I'm leveling that guy up to 15 to save it. But look, all these are level 16 because I do the same thing. I get them up to 8 on blues, I get them up to 12 on purples, and then 16 sometimes on legendaries when there's an artifact enhancement event. Crap, I wish I could show you guys. Nope, so if you have like a newer guy, like it's kind of tough to do on Baron because I don't know what I'm going to gear him with, whether it's going to be Savage, Relentless, or, or Crit, whatever, Crit Damage. I don't know what to gear him yet, so I don't want to gear him yet until he's like full mastery is, you know, good to go. But for a new guy I'm leveling up, that's, that's probably what I would do. Like when I was leveling up him, I had all this new Relentless gear, they were all 15. So when that enhancement event came around, I was like, boom, 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 boom. I already got like... 10 extra uh, uh, rewards that they gave me just because I saved up and I knew and I prepared, I knew exactly what I was doing. 
and that, that's when I got it up. So let's look at his stats. So 80% crit, this is the only crit damage I had for Relentless. That was freaking awesome. Only 6% crit rate, but I got that when I got 16. So I didn't even know it had crit rate until it was level 16. But he needed uh, accuracy uh, and HP. So this wasn't the best gloves, but it had 80% crit rate or crit damage, which was awesome. And this guy only needs 70% crit rate, so I was happy with leveling this up to 16 because he doesn't need a lot of crit rate. He's got 75 right now, so he's got 5 extra crit rate. This one, most of my attack um, weapons aren't level 16 unless they're, unless they're um, legendary or uh, attack champions. Like, look, that's a level 12. Attack champion's level 16 because they benefit from it. But she's level 12. Click on all my attack champions. Uh, this guy... 16. See the legendary. 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 The legendary because you know what the stats are going to be. But if you have like um, regular dudes, like they're usually 12 because they don't really benefit that much from attack. So you should be fine keeping your defense champions or your HP champions with um, a 12 attack thing because. You don't know what the last stat's going to be. Could be speed, it could be anything. Uh, could mess up your rotation, because let's say you have a clan boss and he's perfectly tuned for speed, and all of a sudden you get up to 16, now you got an extra speed, now you need to take away speed somehow. So I'm fine with keeping this at, at, at 12 forever. <laughs> like, I really don't care. Now, the only time you level up to 16 is because it's a legendary, and you know what the stats are going to be. Like, this guy's a defense champion. I was hoping for that extra speed stat, but I didn't get it. So that's why I leveled it up to 16. Sorry, that was a, that was an epic. Where's the legendary? This guy. So the, I wanted the extra speed, and I, I might have got it, I don't even know. But I leveled it up to 16 to get that extra potential speed stat. Now, boots, almost always going to level up to 16. Almost always. So boots are probably the first one you level up to 16. Just because you got an extra 40 speed. Then the next one is going to be... Um, these two, so the chest pieces and the uh, gloves, because they have the, the crit or they have the percentages. And then you're probably going to do this because it has HP for the uh, headpiece, because the more HP, obviously, the more tankier. And then this defense. So, same thing, like these two you want to level up as well to 16, like you wouldn't bother you, but they're after these three. You level up these three first, then these two. And this could be 12 for a while. And then, really, if you need accuracy, I'm going to level up the banner as fast as possible. The crit, crit damage, you don't need as much or as fast as defense or HP. Same thing with this. You don't need as fast. But this, the accuracy, you probably need a lot faster than the other ones. All right? So that would be my orders. I would go boots first, always. Then one of these two. Then these two. Why these two? Because they're a lot cheaper than the accessories. So leveling these up to 16 is a lot cheaper. Keeping these at 12 are fine. Keeping these up to 16, this at 12, and then leveling up the banner first to get the speed and accuracy, and then the crit damage for this, and then the ring. These are the most expensive to level up. Like, super, super expensive. I think I spent 3 million silver one time getting from 12 to 16 on one of my neck pieces. Six star, like it was, I was, wow, I hate that. I was like, wow, I hate this so bad. But, uh, so that's kind of how I, how I love that. So, guys, if you take anything from this video, take that the artifact enhancement event is the only time you should be leveling up your gear. Leveling up four pieces at a time, like four, eight, 12, 16 at a time. So that way you're not wasting silver and selling the gear that you know is not gonna be good for you, or you only leveled up to four or eight, then selling it to kind of keep that silver up, and keeping your gear at 15. Don't get, like, what's the word, um, where like, you can't wait. Don't get anxious to level up to 16 just because that extra stat. Who cares? It's a game, right? Level up to 15, save for the artifact enhancement, and then go back, level up to 16, and then boom, that's like 300 extra points right there, like 360 or something. You're going to feel so good by doing that. So guys, hit the like button because I know that definitely helped out some of you guys. 
Uh, hit the subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it for you doing that because there's going to be a ton more videos coming up. Again, I, sh I made this, this little piece of paper of like 15 videos that I'm making tonight. Um, but guys, thanks. Appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And uh, go casual Raiders. <laughs>